Hey guys, welcome back. So in this today's session, we are going to see the what is the comparison between TCP IP model versus OSI model, right? So first, what is the meaning of TCP IP means? So transmission control protocol, then IP means internet protocol, right? So TCP refers to the transmission control and internet protocol. So why TCP IP name suggested means the majority roles will play it by the your transport layer as well as the network layer network layer is responsible for the ip address transport layer is responsible for the tcp connection oriented purpose right so what is the meaning of osi means open system interconnection model right so this is the reference model but what is the actual implementation so protocol nothing but the actual implementation was the tcp ip why it was developed in the 1960 so this is the protocol which is actually generated sorry developer so this is only reference purpose right now see that in which year it is developed the tcp ip was developed in the year of 1960 by the department of the defense right now see that the year of osa model is developed is the 1984 which is the reference model it is developed by the international organization for standardization so nothing but the iso right so now see that osa has the standard it consists of the seven layers architecture like application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, then we have the data link layer and physical layer. Now here different different manufacturers will be having the different different architecture. It may be some people they are following the five layer architecture, some people they are following the four layer model, right? So if you want to check it on the Google so that you can understand which company is uh, using the like Cisco, uh, how they are using either four layer model, five layer model, you can see that. And then one more thing, TCP IP does not have the very strict boundaries. It means that either you can use the four layer architecture or five layer architecture, right? But here OSI has the street boundaries means we need to use only seven layer architecture mechanism, right? So now what is the next point of TCP IP model is that it is the developed protocol than the model. So model here it is meaning that only we are using for the guidelines, nothing but the reference purpose. But it is the developed model is nothing but the protocol. So which is actual implementation that is why it is called as the developed model than the reference model. But here it is that it is the developed model. Developed model means it is something like reference model than the protocol means actual implementation, right? So TCP uses both session layer and presentation layer in the application layer. As we people know that we have the application layer, presentation layer, session layer, right? Those three layers will be combined into the single layer in the TCP IP model, right? So OSI uses the different session layer and presentation layer here so here the application presentation session layer everything will be differ in case of the osa layer but here in tcp ip model everything will be clubbed into the single layer that what we called as the application layer right so here the usage of the model is very low here the model usage is high it means that what is the internal meaning of this one is suppose for example in osa model we have the layers right l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 l6 l7 layers right suppose if i say that i have problem with my l3 network so then people used to come they used to refer the osa model not the tcp ip model right so if you say that l3 problem means they will feel that there is something happening in the network layer if l2 layer means they will feel that they, there is something problem with the data link layer if l1 means there is something problem with the physical connection so generally what we people used to do is Actual implementation is TCP IP, but whenever the problem comes, instead of referring the TCP IP, we used to refer the OSI model, right? So suppose for example, if you search some kind of jobs in Google, you can see that L1, L2 support engineer, L3 support engineer, L5 support engineer, something you will be finding. It means that for reference model, this model is highly used rather than the actual implementation. This is the meaning of this one, right? Now it provides the standardization to the device like routers, your motherboards, which is like uh, nothing but L2, L3 devices and other hardware devices. It does not provide the standardization to the devices. It provides a connection between various computers, right? So here actual implementation, this one means it will provide the standardization. It will not provide the standardization. Then along with this, you can add the few more point, right? So what is the one point you can able to add if you know what is the difference between OSIP model and TCP IP model if you studied. So here data link layer, 
physical layer will be combined as the link layer right in case of four layer architecture model so here data link layer is separate physical layer is separate so like that you can add the some more point right i hope you understand thank you guys thank you very much